It's so exciting. I love this intro. Best intro to a Tomb Raider game ever. It's so cool. It's like, um, it's like the intro to a TV series or something. So cool! Hi everyone, welcome to my Tomb Raider Legend playthrough. I am so, so excited to get into this one. As I'm sure a lot of you already know, Tomb Raider Legend is one of my favourite Tomb Raider games. I love everything about it. I love the way Lara looks, I love the levels, the gameplay, the music. Everything is just beautiful. It is a very short game and it is a very easy game, but you know what? I think after Angel of Darkness, that will be quite nice. <laughs> so as you'll know if you read my community post, I already recorded this video a few days ago and the footage came out all messed up. I'll insert a clip now of what my f game footage looked like after I'd recorded it. So. You can see why I couldn't use it and had to record again. But it doesn't matter. I am perfectly happy to play this level again. I absolutely love it. Now, I have had a few issues with this game, unfortunately. Not only the footage recording all messed up for some reason, but also the controller that I had wouldn't work with this game for some unexplainable reason so myself and my partner had to go out and buy a new controller that actually connected to the computer and that seems to be working now now there's still a couple of issues so the b button doesn't work for me for some reason so that's like going back in menus and also dropping down from ledges does not work so I have to hit the button on the keyboard <laughs> to do that while I'm playing. So if you see me just randomly like doing stuff here, that's me using both the controller and the keyboard to play this. Also, I had some issues with the graphics on this game. When I first was playing it and trying it out, there was some really weird stuff going on with the graphics, something really weird going on with Lara's ponytail. Again, I'll insert some footage of that because it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, it's not been a great start to this game, honestly, but I'm still optimistic. I've decided that I'm just gonna go with it and whatever happens, happens. As long as the game footage comes out good this time, I'm happy. And I am already just getting so excited after watching that opening trailer again and hearing this menu music it is just it's actually quite emotional i love this game so much anyway that's enough of me yapping let's just start the game and get into the opening cutscenes okay so i think we're going to just stick with medium for difficulty i'm not sure how hard hard is <laughs> so yeah let's just stick with medium adventurer for the moment and then if I find it too easy we can switch to Tomb Raider. I think we can switch as we go along. I think so. Anyway, let's just do that. Starting new game will overwrite the other one. Yes, we need to start again, so overwrite it. <laughs> doesn't mean they're not real. That is very true, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yeti only look fierce. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. Oh. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Look! Henry, what's happened? Lady Croft, Are we going to crash? Orbit engine non-responsive. 
Not unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to pause it very briefly here to just go into that cutscene, but also to just give a little bit of background to this game. So the first bit that I'm going to read is actually just in the booklet that comes with Legend. They have a nice little description of the game on the inside cover. So at the age of nine, Lara survived a plane crash in the Himalayan mountains that led to the death of her mother. And of course, we saw the beginning of that plane crash in that scene just there. Now there is a lot more to that plane crash story, but we don't know it yet in the game and I'm not gonna get into it until we get to that bit. So after miraculously surviving a 10 day solo trek from the crash site to Kathmandu, I think that's how that's pronounced, Lara spent the rest of her childhood under the close tutelage of her archaeologist father, the late Earl of Abington, Richard Croft. And here is where I do just want to briefly mention the differences between this version of Lara's backstory and classic Lara's backstory because there's just a couple of important differences to note. So Legend was considered, I believe, a kind of soft reboot for the Tomb Raider franchise. So it was a reboot and Lara was kind of updated and her story changed ever so slightly, but not so hugely that you'd call it a complete reboot. So in classic Lara Croft's backstory, 21 year old Lara was on her way home from a skiing trip when her chartered plane crashed deep in the heart of the Himalayas. Lara was the only survivor of that crash and had to survive harsh conditions for two weeks until she made her way to a nearby village. This caused her to turn her back on her aristocratic lifestyle call off her engagement to the Earl of Farrington and to instead pursue a life of adventure that made her feel alive. Now her parents were not happy about this at all and they ended up disowning Lara and she did not have a relationship with them at all after that. And also just to know that they have changed the names of Lara's parents as well. So in the original timeline, Lara's father was called Lord Henchingly Croft and her mother was just known as Lady Croft. But in the original Tomb Raider comic books, it was confirmed that her name was actually Andrea. So her mother was Andrea Croft. So Lara's parents are now Richard and Amelia Croft. At the age of 18, after the death of her father, Lara inherited the Croft estates and became Countess of Abington. Since then, she has been credited with the discovery of some 16 archaeological sites of international significance. Lara Croft has been hailed both as an archaeological wonderkind and a glorified treasure hunter, depending on whom you listen to. There are thousands of rumors surrounding Lara's exploits, invariably involving the unexplained or outright unbelievable. Lady Croft herself is rarely available for comment, which further adds to the fog of mystery that surrounds her life and work. Consequently, Lara Croft continues to be the focus of wild speculation and intense debate. Idealized and vilified in equal measure, she is perhaps one of the most fascinating and enigmatic figures of our times. Okay, so that's just a very brief introduction to what we've going on here. So now let's get into the opening cutscene for the first level. Wow. Sorry, I need to I need to contain my excitement. <laughs> you know, I think you forgot your climbing gear on purpose. What would 
give you that idea. <laughs> she totally did. <laughs> Really, Zip. It's like going up a set of stairs, only far less boring. <laughs> yeah? Well, I want to throw up every time you look down. Hey, Alice is back. Grab a headset. Back so soon? <laughs> From Florence, wasn't it? Decided on Genoa at the last minute. My dissertation will never see daylight at this rate, but never mind that. What are you doing in Bolivia? <laughs> wow. Alistair, me too and up. She's a lovely pre Incan civilization. Currently in ruins. Delighted. I've been looking for certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working in La Paz has tipped me off by a rather promising rumor. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dais, among other things. A big rock. She won't say why. Oh, well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? Wow. Lara is so beautiful in this. Like, I cannot get over how beautiful she is. So when we do Craft Manor, we will be going through character bios for Zip, Alistair and Winston. So I'm just going to leave those to the side for the moment. All we need to know for now is that Zip and Alistair are two colleagues of Lara's and they talk to her via headset. Okay, so just a really brief summary of our mission. So we are in Bolivia exploring the ruins of Tiwanaku. Lara's friend Anaya telephoned her today. Anaya heard a rumor about an ancient temple in Bolivia that contains an ornate stone dais. Lara says it could be the one she's looking for. So at the moment, it just seems like Lara is kind of on this random mission, but we will find out soon that what she's looking for here is connected to the plane crash with her mother when she was nine years old that we just saw. Okay, and this level is kind of just a tutorial type level, so we'll just kind of be learning the moves and stuff like that. And these are, I guess, this game's version of secrets. So there's 10 bronze rewards, five silver and one gold, I do believe. Cool. E to kick. And yeah, even though I'm using the controller, you can't change the in-game prompts on PC to be controller prompt. So I may be a little bit confused sometimes, just bear with me. Look how pretty she is. Like I'm actually, I can't get over it. Okay, I need to stop being weird. So, oh yeah, I needed, um, I needed to use the keyboard to dive down for swimming as well. So there's a few things where I need to use the keyboard. That was lovely. But it's all good. Oops. Do me a favor and check your PDA. It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait an hour. <laughs> and, um... I know there's a good few people who are not fans of Zip and Alistair, but I actually, I love them. I do, unpopular opinion. I think it's actually really nice to have some company while you're exploring on your own. And um, I don't know, I just find their one-liners and their conversations with Lara really funny as well. Yeah, so I actually really, really enjoy Zip and Alistair. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you like them or not. Ugh. Make me sick if you keep on swinging, Lara. Look away from the screen now. <laughs> Not sure how to slide down the rope, but oh well. And we've got a little light now as well, which is really cool. It's exciting. Board. And again, this is where I have to use the keyboard to drop because. My B button doesn't work. 
I don't know, I don't know if it's the B button on the actual controller that doesn't work, but I think it does work, or if it's just like something going wrong with the game. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh well. God, this game is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Careful! Deep breath, Sip. This will be a long trip otherwise. I forgot you were such an optimist. What is the point in shouting careful at someone? I always think that's so stupid because that would be more likely to make me panic and fall or do something. Look at this. Oh my god. All I'm going to be talking about is how beautiful this game is. I remember when I first played this. Oh my god, the game's going mental. The game's going mental. That was madness. Okay, don't know what was happening there. Um, but yeah, I think I first played this game when I was 13. I do believe 2006, yeah, I would have been 13. And um, let me just check that there's not a reward. No. And um, I remember when I first played this, I was just so in love with it and I couldn't believe how amazing the graphics were and everything. And it's funny now, but at that time, I just thought, how could graphics get any better than this? <laughs> They obviously have, but at the time I just couldn't imagine graphics getting better than this. Copy that. I'm here, but I don't see no climber. Yeah, well, I can't shoot on sight if I can't see nobody. I got worked up thinking I'd put someone down today. Now there's nothing. A psycho. Hell yeah, I'll tell Rutman myself. You know it. So, can we kick him? Let's try it. DLC. No way someone free climb that. That's gonna what? <gasps> no, I'm kicking you. I'm kicking you, excuse me. Haha! -ha. I kicked you. <laughs> Any idea who he is or who he works for? I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately unremarkable. Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. That's true, I guess. So yeah, Lara's just noticing that they have no identifying marks on their uniforms to say who they work for or anything, which is a bad sign. Um, but yeah, no, I did manage to get a kick in at him at the end there. When he was kind of already dead. So it wasn't great, but eh, whatever. It's all good. Oh, are they birds? I was like, what the hell are they? It's so strange. Right. Okay. I really hope I don't miss any rewards. Woo! Swear to God. So what? You jumped out and started swinging? No, yeah, sort of danced around, screaming and yelling, whatever. Yeah? Well, I would have kicked the hell out of him. Yeah, whatever, man. Came flying at me screaming monkey talk like that, and I just did the first thing that popped into my head. What are they talking about? Flicked it right between the eyes. And it started smoking it? That's what it wanted. Monkeys get hooked out of it. Go crazy <laughs> when they see a smoke. Are they talking about a the monkey? Thing I've ever seen. Yeah. That is so I mean. He was like, I it. flicked it in Very between nice. the eyes. He's basically like, oh yeah, I got the best of that monkey. Poor monkey. Right, let's shoot these bozos. Hmm. Are these guys? The question is, why go to this much trouble to cause some ruins? Quite. I love her little quite. Um I don't know if it's just because this is kind of meant to be the training level, I guess, but 
it's very easy so far so i might need to up the difficulty we'll see we'll see in the next one if the next one is super easy well actually the next level will be craft manor so we can do that but um if the next level after that is super easy then i might up the difficulty oh yeah sorry i forgot i need the keyboard to let go just so it's not too easy you know because that wouldn't be that wouldn't be that fun but it might just be this opening oh it might just be this opening level what was that what fell right anyway i don't know so yes in this game for anyone who doesn't know we have a grapple which is really cool so we can like pull things down and swing from things which is super fun so let's do it oh god that was a disaster so you're not supposed to do it like that you're supposed to do it better than that <sighs> let's try it again there we go and there's a little sneaky reward up here oh she didn't pull it hang on there we go we got it so yeah, we can use it to reach things like that as well, which I think is really cool. Very cool indeed. Isn't she beautiful? I'm falling in love all over again. You say that to all the ruins. <laughs> I'm a terribly lucky girl. And here come the bloody tourists to spoil you. Your gear doesn't pick up detail that small. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. What are they doing there? Getting into trouble. Oh, her face there. She's so angry. Right, let's go kick their ass. Oh, jeez. No, you were meant to shoot that. There we go. Let's do a landslide. Yeah, it was like bowling. Super fun. What? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, the way he slid down, that was hilarious. I don't know if that makes me a psycho or not, but that was really freaking funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! To him doing acrobatics and flippy flips only Lara's supposed to do that excuse you the cheek of him he's trying to steal our thunder that was so rude he definitely deserves to get shot right oh yeah and I, I keep forgetting that we can we can pick up guns in this game so I do believe we can only pick up one gun other than the pistols is it i'm not 100 percent sure i think you can only pick up one but you can swap you can swap as you find better ones i think so yeah aha take that Woo! oh well that was I beg your pardon that didn't go great did it Oh well. What can you do? Shut up. I'm coming up there. I'm coming up there to get you. Just give me a second. Give me a second now. Woo! Eh. Uh, that was a bit over dramatic, wasn't it? Well, I mean, in fairness, I have no idea what it feels like to get shot, so maybe it's, it, it, you know, it warrants a scream like that. Who knows? Who knows? I, I don't. I don't think I've ever heard a soldier scream like that in this game before, though. That was, that was really funny. <laughs> cool. We got another reward. And um, now it's time for my favorite cutscene, I think. That's 
on the permanent. Death by irony is always painful. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> that is one of my favourite Lara Croft lines ever. Just the way Keely Hawes delivers it as well is just perfection. Oh, absolutely love it. Oh, I'm enjoying this so much, even though I've already played it. I'm really, really enjoying this. Right, so this is the trap that those soldiers fell into. So obviously they're like super dead, minced meat, dead. So we need to avoid it. Whoa! Oopsies. Well, I just minced myself, didn't I? Right. Let's go, let's go. Made it this time. Glad you're on your toes. It's a useful survival skill. For a Tomb Raider? Definitely. What's all this stuff for? Moving heavy materials deeper into the mountain, probably. Sometimes ancient builders had to tunnel around hard rock deposits. Oh! I did not mean to fall right down there, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay, and yeah, we need to press F on the keyboard to do this. Super annoying, but what can we do? Let's do it again. Um, where are we going? No, that's the way we came. Yeah, we're going this way. How do I go faster? Oh, there we go. Okay. I forgot how to do that. <laughs> Oh, hang on, there's a... Uh, there's a Jaguar here. Whoa! Is that a Jaguar? Oh! Why predators attack prey larger than themselves is a mystery. And a pity. It is a pity. That was such a little cutie. Well, when I wasn't trying to, like, rip us to shreds. Oh! not to think about it I think I love how much of a wuss Alistair is as well <laughs> I think he's really funny I'm excited to go through their character bios when we do Croft Manor um, because I've never gone through their character bios before so I don't really know anything about Zip and Alistair so that will be exciting looks like you're going forward yes but how with patience and persistence cool and yeah we've got binoculars as well oh whoops there we go. That's a mechanism. Yeah, we knew that. How do we... Okay, it'll take me a while to get used to those. Those binoculars. I can hear you. Jaguar. Oh god, I fell right on top of it. I fell right on top of it. I fell. Lara! Why? Oh my god, why won't she aim at it? There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much for finally aiming. Someone picked an unfortunate place to hunt. Well, I mean, it nearly ate us, so... Maybe not so unfortunate. 
get up there. Right. This bit's really fun. I love this bit. Whee! <laughs> I think that's so fun. I'm such a child, I know. I'm aware that I'm very childish and easily entertained. Get up there. Stay up. Stop that. Keep sliding down off the thing. Right, let's do it again. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Too much. Right. Let's do this. I'm going to grab this. Oh. Push this on here. Which it get on. Those are really complicated gold reward here. It may take me more than yeah, one this place is weird attempt. And complicated. It probably wasn't so back when it was fully furnished. We're looking at the stripped down version of what's left a thousand years later. Okay, so if you're not getting the rewards, you can just go straight ahead to the sorry, I know I'm going everywhere. It's taken me a while to get used to this. So if you're not getting the rewards, you can just go straight ahead through there, but we need to get the gold reward. So we pull this off to close the door and then we need to put it back on. And then as the door rises, we need to pull that block off just when it hits the right point. So we can reach the gold reward. Uh, that might be the right place. I hope so. I guess we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, crap. Ah! Hmm, I can't grab it. I don't think I did this right. Let me try it again. get used to as well um, from just doing Angel of Darkness that there's no stamina meter so like I'm not gonna fall off the ledge for being too slow that's take oh that's taking me a while to get used to I'm kind of rushing when I'm doing stuff like this when I don't have to Great. So I know there's a reward over here. I love the way Lara moves in this. I love the controls. I think they're really, really nice. I love her fluid movement. It's a nice upgrade from the classic Tomb Raider movement and well, of course, 
Angel of Darkness. Um, we won't discuss the controls and that. But yeah, I really like this. I think it's it's a really nice upgrade. Okay, moment of truth. Can we reach? Oh. Yes. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. And F, F, down. Great. Okay, and now it's time for the quick time event. So we do have quick time events in this game for anyone who didn't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go, Lara, go. Ooh. Yeah, oh, we can see a silver reward down there as well. Cool. You in one piece? And still breathing, yes. I just love this game so much. I really do. I love it a lot. Okay. Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you. Ah! Get away. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty. It's so sad. But I mean, he was trying to bite us, so there is that. So this is just going to get the reward that we just saw in the pit from the ugh, from the quick time event. So that's pretty cool. And it, oh, whoa, what happened there? I don't know, it's fine, everything's fine, just keep going. It's the center of the evil Cold Rack Empire. <laughs> None of this appears in any of the literature, but I'd say they're ceremonial in nature. If that's the case, it's not a ceremony I'm keen on witnessing. See, this is why I love Zip and Alistair. Just for things like that, I think it just really adds to the game, adds to the humor. I really like things that are funny, so yeah, I, I like them. I like them a lot. But I- oh no! But I do totally get that for some people, it just kind of strays too far from the original Tomb Raiders where Lara would be completely alone figuring stuff out um, and all that so I do I do get that as well it kind of ruins the the feeling of being all alone in a tomb right so this is the end of the level so let's just double check. Yeah, I got all the rewards, that's great. So we're just going to watch the cutscenes now and then do the cutscene explanations in between. Oh, so exciting. I'm so excited for this game. I've been, I've been looking forward to this one for a really long time. Been really looking forward to Legend. I love it so much. You stay away from her! 
she meant no harm. What's happening, Mother? Who's there? been hoping I'd get to meet you. At ease. We're just gonna talk. I'm listening. Have you found a piece of this? Is this what led you here? Where did you find that? It doesn't matter. What's important is what it does. Do you know? What I know is my business. So you don't then, and that means you don't have a piece. Amanda said you were sloppy. You should have paid more attention to Paraiso. Amanda? Amanda's dead. What the hell do you know about Paraiso? We're done talking. Woo. So I'm just going to pause it here and very briefly go through that. So Lara emerges from the temple ruins and spies a stone dais across a rope bridge surrounded by a huge chasm. What a setting. We then flash back to the plane crash when Lara was nine years old. Lara and her mother survived that plane crash and they then sought shelter in some nearby ruins. We see Lara stumbling upon a similar stone dais. There is a sword sticking out of a rock in the center of this dais. A dead body lies beside it. So not a good sign. Curious, Lara slowly approaches this sword in the stone and touches the sword. The stone dais appears to activate and some kind of portal opens up. Amelia pulls her daughter back in horror and begins speaking to someone through the portal. She tells them to leave her daughter alone. The voice in the portal then says something that sends Amelia into a panic and she grabs the sword and pulls it out of the stone. There's a big flash of light and Amelia is gone never to be seen again, leaving Lara all alone. We then flash back to the present and meet the leader of these mystery mercenaries that we've been running into, and he is a man called James Rutland. We'll find out a bit more about him later on in the game. We also get a glimpse of a mysterious blonde woman sitting in his helicopter. James Rutland tells his men to hold their fire and holds up a piece of a very similar looking stone sword to the one in Lara's flashback. He asks Lara if she has any of the other sword pieces. Rutland soon realizes that Lara doesn't have a piece of the sword and that she also doesn't know anything about the sword or what it does. He comments that Amanda said you were sloppy and the name Amanda clearly hits a nerve with Lara. Deciding that Lara is useless to him, Rutland then orders his men to kill her. Okay, so Rutland is flying away on his helicopter there with the mysterious blonde woman. He's shooting at us, so we need to get over to that stone dais and take out all of his men. Let's do it.
I like the slow-mo thing she does. There is more than one. Father, you were right. What was that? Keep yourselves caffeinated, lads. We've some work ahead of us. These were still alive. Can't complain about that. <laughs> Okay, congratulations, you've unlocked some secret items. Check out the extras menu for your rewards. You've unlocked a time trial to attempt it. No, we're not doing time trials. I'm not good at them. I'm not good at time trials and I don't like them, so I'm not going to be doing those. I'm sorry. Right, you've unlocked a new outfit. Now that's more my thing. You can try it on in Lara's bedroom in Croft Manor. Cool. And yes, we got all the rewards. Woohoo! Continue. All right, who was that? You've heard of the Rutlands, right? From the States? Well, you just met the Senator's youngest son, James Rutland. Went to West Point, and that's about all he's done. Call up the footage, please. Welcome home, Lady Croft. Will your hand luggage require emptying or filling? Winston, take a look at this. It's almost identical, just configured differently. Identical to what? Something I saw a long time ago in Nepal, miles from any pre-Incan culture. And you believe this to be a fragment of the sword? What sword? More likely another of its kind. Zip, I want you to find out what you can about this Rutland, particularly where he is at the moment. Try Peru. We talked about Paraiso. He did imply there's information about the artifacts there. He said you've been to Paraiso. Well, what happened there? And who's Amanda? Alistair, <laughs> go over these images and see what you can work out. Zip, ring Anaya and see if she can meet me in Paraiso Saturday morning. <laughs> the way they all just look so dumbfounded. It's hilarious. Okay, so we'll just very quickly go through those last little cutscenes. So after Lara defeats Rutland's men, she examines the stone dais and realizes there's more to all of this than she thought. She says her father was right. Lara heads back to Croft Manor to plan her next move with Zip, Alistair and Winston. So at this stage in the game, we're still not 100% sure what is going on. I don't wanna spoil it early. So we're just gonna leave it at that for the moment. So back in Croft Manor, Zip pulls up info on James Rutland and the computer screen was blank in that cutscene. I don't know if that's like a bug on the PC cutscene. I could have sworn on the PlayStation 1 there was actually a picture of James Rutland. I think so. But anyway, Lara shows Zip, Alistair and Winston a photo of the stone dais and remarks that it's just like the one she found when she was nine years old in Nepal. Lara asks Zip to find out where Rutland is and Zip suggests that Lara tries Peru. When Rutland mentioned Amanda in the previous cutscene, he also mentioned a place called Paraiso. Alistair then asks Lara what happened in Paraiso and who is Amanda. Lara dodges the question and Zip kind of gives them the warning sign of uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> And she then asks Alistair to look over the images she took and see what he can find. And she also asks Zip to ask her friend Anaya to meet her in Paraiso. So Anaya is the friend who at the start of the game gave her the tip that this stone dais was in Bolivia. Okay, so that is the end of the first level. That was so exciting. I know it's a very short level and it's a very simple level, but as I said, it's kind of just the introduction to the soft reboot I guess of Tomb Raider and just kind of showing you how to use the controls and how everything works. 
So in the next video, we'll be going to Croft Manor. I'm so excited to continue with this. Do let me know down in the comments below what you think of Legend. Do you like it? Do you like it better or less or the same as the classics? I can't wait to chat to you all and hear your different opinions on this Tomb Raider game. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do consider liking, commenting, or subscribing if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot to me and I will see you very, very soon in the next video.